after this week we're here at the Scottish Boys Amateur Championship at Brunsfield Lynx Golf and Society and we'll have the emerging talent from Scottish Golf uh, who will be playing stroke play qualifying, 36 holes of stroke play qualifying, the top 64 players then qualify for match play knockout. It was quite entertaining watching the different standard of the best young golfers in Scotland come here and play. Without doubt, what we saw in every group was people who can hit the ball an awful lot further than most. Now that's the advantage of flexibility, the advantage of youth, and the advantage of not having, having hit bad shots through your life. The length of the drives, the accuracy of the iron play, the standard of short game was absolutely amazing. And that goes for the whole age range. That if that's an example of where we are with Scottish golf, we've got much to look forward to going forward. It fills you with confidence for the future. Going around with smiles on their faces, they're enjoying well, the weather that we've had, but mostly the golf course and the way that it's been set up. You know, the good players score well on good golf courses with great conditions. The putting surfaces are among the purest that we'll see. The course is probably amongst the cleanest that we'll visit, uh, you know, this year. Amazing. I mean, I came into this week, you know, just trying to do my best. Really, there wasn't really many expectations. I knew Ross was a great player, so I knew it was going to be a tough game. And he got off to a bit of a nervy start, which gave me a bit of a lead. And um, I missed a couple of putts. Could have been a little bit more in front. Uh, when I came into the back nine, I knew I just needed to hold on. Uh, I played here two years ago in Scottish Amateur and missed the cut. So. <laughs> I mean, there's some improvement, um, so um, yeah, just so delighted.